You're a cat owner, it's important to feed your cat the right way to keep them healthy and happy. But many cat owners make mistakes when it comes to feeding their cats. These mistakes can put your cat at risk for a variety of health problems. Here are 10 of the most common cat feeding mistakes. 1. Feeding your cat too much. Cats are naturally good at regulating their food intake. However, if you leave food out all day, your cat may overeat and become overweight or obese. Overweight and obese cats are more likely to develop health problems, such as diabetes, heart disease, and arthritis. 2. Feeding your cat only dry food. Dry food is convenient, but it's not as nutritious as wet food. Dry food is high in carbohydrates and low in moisture, which can lead to dehydration. Wet food is higher in moisture and protein, and it's also a good source of taurine, an essential amino acid that cats need. 3. Not feeding your cat enough water. Cats need plenty of water to stay hydrated. Most cats should drink about 1 ounce of water per 2 pounds of body weight each day. If your cat isn't drinking enough water, you can try adding water to its food or providing a water fountain. 4. Feeding your cat table scraps. Table scraps can be unhealthy for cats. Many human foods are high in fat, salt, or other ingredients that are bad for cats. If you want to give your cat a treat, choose a healthy option, such as a small piece of cooked chicken or fish. 5. Feeding your cat a raw diet. Raw diets can be dangerous for cats. Raw meat can contain bacteria that can make cats sick. If you're considering feeding your cat a raw diet, talk to your veterinarian first. 6. Not feeding your cat a variety of foods. Cats can become bored with the same food every day. To help keep your cat's diet interesting, offer a variety of different foods, including wet food, dry food, and treats. 7. Not feeding your cat the right food for its age. The nutritional needs of cats change as they age. Kittens need food that is high in protein and calories to help them grow and develop. Adult cats need food that is balanced to meet their nutritional needs. Senior cats may need food that is lower in calories and fat to help them maintain a healthy weight. 8. Not feeding your cat the right food for its health condition. Cats are susceptible to a variety of health conditions, and the right diet can help manage or even prevent these conditions. For example, cats with kidney disease need a diet that is low in phosphorus to help reduce the risk of kidney stones. Cats with diabetes need a diet that is low in carbohydrates to help control their blood sugar levels. And cats with urinary tract infections need a diet that is high in moisture to help flush out bacteria. If your cat has a health condition, it's important to talk to your veterinarian about the best diet for them. Your veterinarian can help you choose a diet that is specifically formulated to meet your cat's individual needs. Here are some additional tips for feeding your cat with a health condition. Follow your veterinarian's instructions carefully. Monitor your cat's food intake and weight regularly. Make sure your cat has access to fresh, clean water at all times. By following these tips, you can help ensure that your cat with a health condition gets the nutrition they need to stay healthy and happy. 9. Not feeding your cat at regular times. Cats are creatures of habit. They like to eat at regular times, and they can get upset if their routine is disrupted. If you feed your cat at random times, it can lead to digestive problems, such as vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation. It's important to establish a regular feeding schedule for your cat. This will help their digestive system function properly and prevent any unwanted health problems. Here are some tips for establishing a regular feeding schedule for your cat. Feed your cat at the same times each day. Feed your cat in a quiet place where they feel safe. Don't leave food out all day. If you need to change your cat's feeding schedule, do it gradually. Don't change their meal times or portion sizes too quickly, as this can upset their stomach. Here are some additional details you could include in your video to make it even more informative. Discuss the importance of a regular feeding schedule for cats. Explain how a regular feeding schedule can help prevent digestive problems. Share tips for establishing a regular feeding schedule for your cat. By providing this additional information, you can help cat owners understand the importance of feeding their cats at regular times. Here are some specific examples of how irregular feeding times can lead to digestive problems in cats. 
Vomiting. If your cat eats too much food at one time, they may vomit to get rid of the excess food. Diarrhea. If your cat doesn't eat enough food at one time, their digestive system may not have enough time to break down the food properly, which can lead to diarrhea. Constipation. If your cat doesn't eat enough fiber, their digestive system may not be able to move food through their intestines as easily, which can lead to constipation. By feeding your cat at regular times, you can help prevent these problems and keep your cat healthy and happy. 10. Not feeding your cat in a quiet place. Cats are prey animals. They feel more comfortable eating in a quiet place where they feel safe. If your cat is eating in a noisy or busy environment, it may not eat as much. By avoiding these common cat feeding mistakes, you can help keep your cat healthy and happy.